Good news for Bad Bunny. He cleaned up at last night's Billboard Latin Music Awards, Jen. Yeah, Billy, Bad Bunny was the big winner of the night, taking home nine awards, including Artist of the Year and Latin Album of the Year for Un Verano Sinti. And a couple of familiar names took home trophies. Christina Aguilera won the Spirit of Hope Award, and Enrique Iglesias was named Latin Pop Artist of the Year. And co-hosting the ceremony, telenovela superstar Kate Del Castillo, who told me about a couple of other projects in her orbit. 30 years in the biz. How do you look like this? Oh my God, thank you so much. She made headlines for her secret meeting with Sean Penn and El Chapo, but she made her name as the most famous telenovela star. Now Kate is back as Teresa Mendoza on her hit Telemundo series, La Reina del Sol. I did my part. The highly anticipated drama is back after three years away. How important is this show to you? I mean, you've been doing it for... For a while now. We did the first season probably 12 years ago. It was a huge hit. This third season is the most ambitious one. And How so? Every episode is like a, like a small movie. Yeah. I'm really very excited. And that is not the only thing Kate's excited about. So I'm shooting a beautiful, it's an indie movie about these teenagers and it's it's based on this novel called yeah. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Teen Tomorrow. Oh, I've it's heard it, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm playing the Abuela, you know, the grandmother of this teenager. So they're putting all these prosthetics in my face. How many hours in the makeup chair? It's two and a half. Woo! It's always good when I take them off. I've never done so anything like that. But the Mexican superstar has always used her voice to shine a light on her community. So tell me about the Rizado Festival. It's a festival that helps uplift the power, the culture, and the truth of our Latina community. It's an opportunity for every every one of us, you know, to uplift us in every single way. And I think the Latinx culture has come a long way. I think it's getting there. It's just it's just too slow. Are you encouraged by, by you know, the representation that you do see? Absolutely. We're building bridges and solidarity. So, yes, I'm very proud of everything that we're doing. It's just we need a lot of voice.